In Texas, we have 10,000 megawatts, or about $20 billion of investment in the wind energy industry. In Colorado, we have 1,300 megawatts, about a sixth, which is only $3 billion, or less than $3 billion, of investment in the wind energy industry. So obviously, Texas's deregulated market has spurred more demand for wind or more opportunity to invest in renewable energy than Colorado's fully regulated market. However, in Texas, consumers are paying 15 cents a kilowatt hour for their energy, and in Colorado, we're paying between 8 and 10 cents a kilowatt hour for electricity. So obviously, from a consumer perspective, the regulated market is working better here in Colorado today than it's working in Texas. However, because of the nature of the deregulated market, it has been very clear that transmission can be a way to lower consumer costs. And Texas is in the midst of spending several billions of dollars to develop transmission that's going to, in the end, save Texas ratepayers or Texas energy consumers lots and lots of money. In fact, I think the payback on that is a couple years at most. So great return on investment from that transmission uh, investment in Texas. So in the future, there's a path. You can see the deregulated market may, in fact, lower cost to consumers. Uh, but today it is more expensive.